Hello, dear Cancer. Welcome. Okay, so this is a you versus them reading. And the timeless reading. So whenever you happen to come across it, that's when you are meant to come see it. So let's see. This is your side. This is your person's side. In the middle will be the combined energy of the both of you. Okay, so let's see. What's currently happening in your life? What is currently going on? Let's see. Ooh, Ace of Wands. What are you walking away from? You are leaving something behind in a hurry. Or something's coming towards you in a hurry. Ooh, we have the devil energy. Okay, so maybe there's something that was triggering you. Something that was in the Capricorn energy even. Um, with the devil. But passion, desire. Maybe you're leaving something to go towards your passion. And we have the knight of wands. Either you're going towards something really quickly or someone's coming towards you. Here is Leo Sagittarius. Let's see. We have the wreath. Okay, this would be a victory of some sort. There's something that's going to... You're being honored or there's going to be, you're going to be victorious. Or something Or something's coming back around too with the wreath. Hmm. Let's see. We need the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands here. Okay. Let's clarify. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Why is the Ace of Wands here? Whoops. Ah, look at this. We have the Eight of Cups. You're definitely walking away from something or someone is walking away from something. Something that's no longer fulfilling, not satisfying, and walking onto something that you're more passionate about. More excited about creating something brand new. Ooh, and it's going to bring you into balance here. You know, I think you, you might have been doing something. It could be in work that maybe you're doing something you weren't getting compensated for and now you will be. Because you're, you're not going to be getting underpaid. You know, you're worth more than that. You're getting a victory here, though. Knight of Wands. Ooh, the lovers. Okay. <laughs> this could be a love connection, then. Gemini energy. Choice, too. All right. And we do have here, this is the world. So, a completion. Ending. Yeah, you're definitely, you're definitely finishing something up to start something brand new. Something exciting. Now, you might be also... Could be something to do with um, obsessed about doing this too. With the devil card, it could be addiction. Someone could be walking away from addiction too to something better, you know, something to a cleaner life, a better life, but a lot of passion and desire to even yourself out. It could be also um, someone could have been a workaholic and you're saying, you know what? I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to do something different. And I'm not going to be working so hard trying to get somewhere and not get anywhere is what I was feeling. That maybe you're always working no matter what you did. It wasn't enough. But you're completing that cycle now. You're ending a cycle, start something new, and you're moving away from this devil energy. Okay, now let's see what the person that's on your mind. What's going on with them? What is happening with them? They, be, they feel stuck in their head about something here. Ooh, there's spy guy. Spy guy, spy girl. Someone's spying on someone. I think they might be spying on you. This is looking back to the past. How you things used to be. Yeah, there's a very deep connection here. This person wants this connection again. Two of cups. I'm trying to make a decision. Two decision cards here. We have the two of wands and the two of cups. But stuck in their head, not knowing what to do. Let me get a charm on the spy guy, spy girl. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Oh, this person wants to come towards you quick. They might be fine. This we have the horse here. Horse is like the chariot. But they're watching you. They're probably trying to figure out what you're up to. If you're with someone, do they have a chance here? So they're trying. Maybe they're um, inquiring about you or looking you up online. Maybe ask your friends or family about you. They're doing a little research. So what about this Eight of Swords? Oops. Queen of Swords. Okay. May they worry when they come to you that you're going to have your sword up. They're not sure how you're going to react. But they, um, this person wants to be with you. Let's see what we have here. Ah, prosperity. Spirit, they may feel a very strong spiritual connection with you too. Let's see. Um, Queen of Swords. Yeah, they're, they're watching you. That's what they're currently doing. They're trying to see how they can actually get back in your good graces if something happened here. Okay, let's see. The Page of Swords. Ooh, they might surprise you. They might just all of a sudden appear. Aries Scorpio energy with the tower. They might just all of a sudden just appear. And what about the two of wands? 
Yeah, this is going to move quick. Once they make a move, they want communication. Things are going to move very fast. And they're going to stay on their ground here, too. They're going to protect this connection. They feel very strongly about it. Okay, so now, let's see, guys. What's going on here? So what are your thoughts about this person? What are your thoughts here? We have Six of Pentacles. Wow. We have the Strength card. And we took... Okay, so you definitely want to balance things out. Your thoughts are, in order for this to work, it has to be a balanced connection. Maybe you were given, they were taken. You're undecided about how to do this, though. Or what to do. We have the Two of Swords here. Not being able to make a move. Have blindfolds on. But want to make a connection here. Hmm... Someone might have been given to you and someone else at the same time. So you don't want that to happen again. So you want also um feel, find the strength to see maybe it's this connection strong enough. Balance these things out, definitely. Making a decision. Someone could have been juggling you and someone else with the six of pentacles and the two of pentacles. So we have here oh opportunity here though. You're thinking that there might be an opportunity for the two of you to come together. What about the strength card? Justice. See, justice has to be Libra energies. Justice has to come in here. Something has to be fair, otherwise you're not interested. What about the Two of Pentacles? The Emperor. May this person's kind of controlling, or maybe you want to take control. Aries energy with the Emperor here. We do have the Page of Pentacles. Maybe thinking of Getting a message to this person, reaching out. We had the two of swords on this side too, right? No, okay. Why do I think we have the two of swords? On? I don't know. Anyway, Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Your thoughts are maybe to make an offer, a proposition, maybe. You know, maybe this will work if we both work at this, not just me. I'm, I'm feeling like maybe you did all the work or you um, you did more than this person. Okay, let's see. What are their thoughts about you? Two of Cups. Very strong connection here. King of Swords. Yeah, they want to get a message to you. They're coming in as the King of Swords. They want to speak their truth. They know they have to speak their truth to you. But they want to get a message to you. That's the thought. They see you as a Queen of Wands. They're very uh, attracted to you. Very, You're very desirable. Very, you know, they, they really, they're really attracted to you. I feel a very strong attraction. Let's get something on this King of Swords we have here. Yeah, they want to grow some. They might even feel like a past life with you. They want to grow something here. They want to develop this. They think it's, you know, something strong here. Now, the page wants Aries, Leo, Sagittarius getting a message to you. Is their thought. Yeah, because of commitment. They want to send a message to let you know that they want something strong. They want something to commit to. They're not fooling around here. Okay, now let's see. Why is the two of cups here? Why is the two of cups here? Ooh. I don't know, they're hiding hiding something, keeping something back. Maybe they're not expressing themselves, or maybe that's a problem that they never did express themselves. This is like, this could be holding back, just not not opening up. Now, why do we have the king? And that's why they know they have to come in with the truth now. Why do we have the king of swords? Ah, because they have a lot of love for you. Deep love. King of cups. And they didn't express it. We have Yes, he have a heart. And we have a lot of memories. We have a heart with the elephant. So there's a lot of love, a lot of memories here for this person. Okay, what about this page of wands? Why is that here? Yeah, they want to work on this. They're, they want to send you a message that they want to put the work in, that they're willing to put the work in, that they will they will work this time. And they want, yeah, they're going to send you a, cup, a message here. This is a page of cups. It's also be apology. Okay, let's go back over to your side. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces with the 
Page of Cups. I don't know if I said this. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Queen of Wands. Okay, so now what are your feelings towards this person? What are your feelings? You like to have something Harry been happening. You rush in and speak the truth. Emperor energy. Wow. I think you're feeling her. You want to take control of this situation. Because things were hidden and you and you don't like that. Pisces energy with the moon. Justice. Justice has to be served here. You're very strong on this justice. It has to be fair, which is right. It should be fair. Okay, now let's get a charm for this Knight of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have two. See? You would like something steady and reliable. And okay, a leaf. Maybe you're hoping that they turn over a new leaf, or maybe you turned over a new leaf, however that resonates with you. Let's see. Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords moves really quick, too. So what you're feeling is that this has to start moving, or I think you're getting tired of waiting, maybe. You know, or being left in the dark with this moon, this mystery, this hidden energy, hidden emotions. Okay, why do we have the Knight of Swords here? The Ten of Swords. Because of this ending, it was a painful ending. What about the Emperor? I have the Emperor came up here twice. Why is the Emperor here? Page of Wands. Yes, your feelings is there needs to be some kind of communication, a message or something. So maybe you're thinking of sending them a message. Memories. Yeah, there's very strong memories between you. Have an elephant again. Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, what about this moon card? Pisces energy. Why is that here? Ten of Cups. A lot of emotions. It also could be that maybe you were married to this person, Ten of Cups, at one time. Or it was almost like a marriage. Very, very deep. Very close. And the Nine Cups. Wish fulfillment. Okay, Justice come in, that'll be your wish fulfillment. Things to work out here. Okay, so now what are their feelings towards you? Sun, a lot of happiness. Leo energy. Queen of Cups, right under the King of Cups. A lot of love. Really tight connection here as far as love. You guys at one time had a lot of love and someone had to walk away. Or, or their feelings are they need to walk away from something to come towards you. Queen of Cups. Okay, sit through things. Strain something out. There's something that has to be looked at really, really deeply. And take out whatever is not right here, what's not working. That's their feelings. They have to remove whatever is not working to make this work. They want commitment towards energy here with the Hierophant. They want a deep commitment with you. Okay, now why do we have the sun card here? Why is the sun card here? Two of Cups, soulmate connection. Very deep love. They feel very deeply for you. You make them happy. Magician, they want to manifest this. Now, for me, the magician's Aries and Aquarius energy. Yeah, they feel like they can manifest this. And they can. They they think about it. All you got to do, you think about it, you bring it about. King of Swords, they have to come in truthful. They, they're leaving something. They might have to, they might be telling someone in their life right now that they don't want to be with them. They want to be with you. And this is speaking the truth, the King of Swords. Yeah, this is um, seahorses. Seahorses mate for life. This person might be telling someone that you are the one for them. This has been a heavy burden on them. All right, now. What action might you take towards them? I feel like I'm a little off here. Okay, what action might you take towards them? You're being def defensive and protecting. You're going deep within. Maybe you're not going to do anything and wait for them to do something. You would like to have a celebration. You'd like to go out with them, celebrate something here. You want a victory, but I think right now you're going within. Just looking for answers here. Virgo energy. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Why is the Nine of Wands here? Okay, the Nine of Swords, because you're probably not sleeping. 
you're anxious about this, you're worried about this, you don't know what to do here. You know what's interesting? We have the, a 9, 9, and 9. 9, 9, and 9. Completion. So something's going to be completed. Somehow, some way. Let's see, why do we have the Hermit here? Five of Wands. Okay. There might be some kind, maybe someone's fighting you on this. Maybe someone doesn't want you to be with this person. There might be outside influences that are trying to keep you apart. That's what you're going with within. Or you're just retreating from whatever this energy around you. It might be a combated energy here. Now what about this Three of Cups? Okay. Wanting to celebrate something here because there's a lot of, you have a lot of regret, a lot of remorse for what happened here. Two of Cups, lost the Two of Cups. This is your Two of Cups, and somehow, whatever happened, other people might have interfered. And we have here, okay, the High Priestess. Tapping into your intuition, you are the High Priestess. Cancer and Virgo is a High Priestess energy. There might be a mystery here, or you might be really just connecting with this person, going deep within the, the Hermit. That is seeking some kind of spiritual connection here maybe you are what you're doing is tapping with them in the fifth dimension tapping into them with the fifth in the fifth dimension not not in the physical and third dimension here okay let's see what action might they take towards you what is the action they might take towards you queen of wands they might come in here quickly because they're very attracted to you Death card, Scorpio, and ending, new beginning, transformation. They want to transform. Oh, yeah, they're coming in with the, the sword of truth, cutting out what does not belong, changing their life, I think, cutting out the people and things that do not belong in order to come towards you. Oh, let me get a charm on these. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the snake. Um, they can't resist you. They're, you're just, you draw them in. Also, I think there might be like this Kundalini energy that you have that, that is just drawing them in. Queen of Wands. And the Knight of Swords. This is fast movement. Coming in quickly. Rushing in. Maybe not even think when they rush in. Oh yeah, they feel this infinity symbol with you. And also they feel very protective. They're gaining the courage, the knowledge, the wisdom to come towards you. Dragon. I think they want to protect this connection. So maybe they feel like you have to move in quick. And then of course we have the Death card with endings, new beginnings. Rebirth, transformation. Let's see. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Oh, yeah, because there's so much memories here. A lot of fond memories. Goes pretty deep. What about this Knight of Swords? They're coming in to offer you their cup. Here we have the... They have so much love for you. We have the Ace of Cups here. This person's crazy about you. Okay, and what about this um, death card? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they're they're going to offer you everything. Look at all these aces. They want to offer you the world here. They're coming in with a message. We've got Page of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're going to definitely hear from this person. They're coming in. And we have a seahorse. Yeah, like seahorse is made for life. It's also new love. So it could be, you know, bringing in a new love or... The renewal of a love that is new, not the same energy, bringing something different towards you. Page of, oh, sugar, page of wands. Okay, I just dropped someone in here. Oh, who did I drop in there? Th threw someone. Where'd he go? Okay, don't want to be taking the wrong one later. Okay, so let's see what the word is then. Let's start with this Knight of Wands. What's going on with this Knight of Wands? Apart. Sincere. Love. Okay, so this could mean that since you guys been apart, they realize how sincere and how much they really love you. Okay, now what about this Queen of Swords? Finances. New start want okay so maybe you're having a new start in finances or someone wants a new start with you and there's something to do with the finances i mean this is abundance too with this this goldfish here so there could be that you're coming into more abundance now 
and this might help. Okay, now, what about the Page of Swords, the Spy Guy? Well, of course, this is this person's energy, so it could be that they're coming into a new start in finances, and they want to, they want to bring you along with this pleasure, honest money. Confused. Well, someone's confused about something here. And there's pleasure here, but there's and there's also honesty. And money. Let's get them to clarify for the money. This is the spy guy, so and it is a, the tower. So something might be coming in for them. The honest money is confusing them. Now this is losing money. I don't know. So this is money that is like the bag's ripped and it's coming out. So someone might be losing money. I don't know. They're confused about it. Okay, only take if it resonates with you. Let's see. I'm going to put these up here. What about this Knight of Swords? Realize after feelings. Okay, someone realized after the feelings they had. See, that's what it sounds like here, too. Apart. Sincere. That could be you. You didn't realize the feelings you had to this person until after they left, after they are gone. We have talk. Karma. Apology. So someone wants to talk to you to apologize and something they might have been feeling the karma for whatever they did to you. And remember, we always do this vice versa. If that's the way it goes. What about this King of Cups? We have... Soulmate, always. This over. I need some room for my other cards there. Oh, I didn't put down the cards. What am I doing? Okay, soulmate always admitted. Okay, so this one is probably going to admit they always felt like you were soulmates. Okay, let me do the other cards. I won't skip them. Okay, what is the the mutual feelings between you two? The energy that you both have here. What is that? Love. A strong love connection here. Single. You're both single now. May you weren't before. Both single and available to pursue. Is it safe? You might feel you need to feel, feel safe to be able to be in this connection. And this might be stressing you out a little bit. You're both feeling stress. And the family might have something to do with the stress. There might be some ways family members stressing someone out okay so I'm going to finish the words now about this king of swords we have marry immature past life okay so you guys might have been married in a past life and someone might have been immature or got married um yeah, my, yeah, they might got young, married too young. Maybe that's what, the way it was in that past life that people got married young. What about the page of wands? We have thoughts, money, instigate. So someone's going to be thinking about instigating something about money here. This is the work card too. Let's see over here. What's going on with this? Why is the money card here? We have... Oh, so someone's saving see that's my jar of savings here so money saving someone's instigating something about money about maybe saving money thoughts to instigate savings what about um page of wands we have revealed married Ooh, there's a tower here someone might reveal that they're actually married or they could reveal that they want to get married but I would say they're probably revealing that they were married or have been married. Aries Scorpio with the tower. Okay, what about the Knight of Swords? And remember, just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. We have sex, family, single, TikTok. Okay, TikTok, someone's running out of time. Someone's single. And there's something with the family and something to do with sex here. That makes any sense to you guys. I 
don't know, because single sex, single sex, I guess, could be same sex. I don't know, can it? I'm trying to see how that works. Single sex. <laughs> or maybe had sex when you were single. The family knew about it. Be, um, if you were married, maybe they know that you were having sex before you were married. I don't know. I'm not going to play with that one anymore. <laughs> like, what about this? Um, This is the King of Cups. No, Queen of Cups, sorry. We have Fast, Committed, Committed. Ooh. So someone got, seems like they, maybe they get commitments really quick. Okay, what about this King of Swords? Keeps the money. Love. Likely. So there's love likely coming in here. And someone might tell someone to keep the money. Or someone's keeping the money. So we have. Ooh. And this is someone that was burning money. Going through money like crazy. And they might just say, well, keep it. You're going to burn through or keep it. <laughs> what about the page of wands? We have. Is it. Marry. Mature. So marry mature. Is it? Is it mature to marry? I don't know. Take if it resonates. Leave if it doesn't. Let's see, guys. Now we want to see. Put this over here. I don't know where to put this. Oh, I'm going to put it here. Just so I have room here for the signs. Okay. Let's see what signs we have here. What are the signs here for cancer? What are the signs? Sagittarius. Cancer. Can Sagittarius. I don't know why I want to say cancer again. Aries. Leo. We've got all the fire. And Taurus. Okay, so this could be placement your chart, placement other people's charts, past, present, and future. Sagittarius, Cancer, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, and Taurus. Okay, now we'll do the letters for... 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both the first and last initial, someone's name, and you know their middle name, you get that one too, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. We have O, J, F, N, Z, B, R, D O H N. Okay, so the letters we have for you today are these keep on sliding. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna just leave them. <laughs> they wanna slide. Okay. O J F N Z B R D O H M. Actually, this is a W, but take an M too. That was a W. Okay. So, let's see what names want to come out. Let's see what the names want to come out. Oh, I think I got a lot here. Alrighty. Took too many, but it's okay. We have Christina. Isabel. I-S-O-B-E-L. Um, Kisha. K-I-S-H-A, Christina, K-R-I-S-T-I-N-A, Elsa, Dara, C-H-R-E-E-C-E, Beth, Lou, George, J-O-R-G-E, um, Anahera, A-N-A-H-E-R-A, Kathleen with a K and Sharice S U R I S H. So we have okay, we have thirteen. All right, I thought there was more than that, so it's not too bad. All right, guys. So remember, these are general readings; they're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. If it does not resonate, check out your other placements, your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. Something there might resonate with you more at this time if that does not resonate with you. Um, I just want to thank you guys. I love you so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.